I'm Tim Murphy. I'm a Cruising World Editor at Large. I'm here in West Marine in Portland, Maine, and we're gathering up all the equipment we need to do a solar panel installation. I've got a Passport 40 that I sailed down to the Exumas last year and back. So come on, let's go inside and we'll gather up all the kit. Hey, Tim. Hey. How are you? This is Andy Webster, the manager of the Portland, Maine West Marine store. And Andy and I have been working to spec out all the product we'll need for this solar panel project. We have. It sounds like an exciting project. Hope you guys have a super simple install today. So we're here now at Maine Yacht Center in Portland, Maine. This is Billy Pilgrim, our 1988 Passport 40. My partner and I bought this boat four or five years ago and sailed it down to the Bahamas from here last year. And every morning in the logbook, the very first thing I would write is, what is our battery voltage? And that would determine how long we had to run the engine to charge up the house batteries. So this solar panel installation right now is meant to decrease the amount of time that we'll have to run the engine when we go back out again. We've got the guys from Navtronics here. So we've got TJ and Chris who are going to do the actual installation. These are some older, lower power solar panels. It's got some older uh, wiring that wasn't quite uh, ABYC compliant. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take the panel, the array, everything off, run all new wiring basically from top to bottom with new charge controllers as well. So we want to make sure that's all regulated. So right now we're just in the process of kind of getting everything cleared out so we can start with a blank slate. When considering doing a solar panel install, we need to look at the panel angle. We want to stay with a horizontal angle for the solar panel here to get the most power from the sun. Obviously, a boat like this is not going to be living at the dock often. We're going to be on moorings, we're going to be at anchorage, and we want to make sure we can utilize as much of that sun power as we can. Okay, so we're wrapping up uh, day one here of the project. We were taking off old panels and in replacing the new ones, we realized there's a little bit of different sizing and holes that need to be drilled into the new one to set up the right size mounting. So the guys are gonna take those panels, the new ones, back to the shop, and then tomorrow we'll all come back and finish up the job. This is day two now at Maine Yacht Center for our solar panel installation. The fellows from Navtronics have taken the new panels back to their shop and set up a good mounting situation for it so that it's going to go onto the rails that exist on the boat already. All right, so as you can tell, we have the new panels mounted. We've gone ahead, we had to modify the bracket free because of course, they're gonna be a little different size panel manufacturer to panel manufacturer. And now we're also getting ready to run the wiring. It's going to go down the backstay. We're gonna go ahead and put that in some split loom to give it a little extra UV protection. And once that gets run down through the deck glands here, we're gonna go ahead and send it over to our charge controllers. All right, so now we are on the home stretch. We're getting everything buttoned up. As you see, the team here is getting the last little bit of wiring in. We're putting the fusing for these. Because of the output of these panels, we're doing 15 amp fuses. We've got a fuse for this side coming out of the panel, and then also out of our charge controller, we have another 15 amp fuse near the battery. So we have great fuse protection across the board, and it's also easy to winterize this. When this is all said and done up here in New England, we want to make sure these solar panels aren't dumping out a bunch of juice and the batteries are disconnected. So we simply pull the fuse out from an inline fuse back here, and now we're good and protected. Okay, well I think that's a wrap on the project. We've demonstrated that we've got good amperage coming into the batteries from two new solar panels. 
We're just looking forward to getting back out there and seeing how this all works in our living situation on board.